The FDI World Dental Federation is the umbrella organization for all the dentists around the world. There are over a million of us scattered around five continents. And this is an impressively high number of professionals that makes us a qualified professional class with significant presence in the world. Like every professional group, we have our issues, problems, special interests that we pursue. And our aims are more than ambitious. We've recently come back from Buenos Aires, where we spent a few days with our World Congress, where we had members from all over the world attend. The event was attended by over 8,000 dentists from all over the world, who, for the most part, represented national dental associations and other private and public institutions. We discussed subjects related to science and technology, along with others related to industry, and that is a fact. But the most relevant result of this Congress has been the case of many other meetings where we renew our strong commitment to the principles laid down by the United Nations in relation to the global sustainable development goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And FDI has been in official relations with WHO since WHO was founded in 1948 and with the United Nations since 1999. During our Congress last week, we had several fora, one which we invited the director, Katie Dane, from the Non-Communicable Disease Alliance to attend our meeting and address us on issues that will be discussed at the next high-level meeting at the United Nations that takes place September 27th, which is next week. And I will be there for that meeting, and Dr. Montero de Silva was at the first UN meeting on non-communicable diseases in 2011 to ensure that oral health and diseases were included in these final documents. I hope that we can continue the work that he started for oral health. Thank you, Orlando. As an example, let me quote two of the goals that we set during our Congress for our work with the United Nations. A new index identifying a minimum package of feasible and reliable oral health measures in order to guarantee a healthy life to adult individuals in all the world, a revised version of our dental ethics manual, a reference handbook for professionals everywhere. Although it already encouraged ethical practice, it now includes recommendations for higher interdisciplinary collaboration between clinical practice, health education, research, legislation, business activities in the industry, as well as philosophical aspects of dentistry. We are certain that the FDI is an increasingly relevant and reputable institution strong enough to be in the field in order to support its members wherever they are, giving them tangible rather than symbolic support so that they may attain their legitimate collective goals. In the first place, because the vitality comes from our members' active contributions, and in the second place, and justifiably so in the specific case, because we are in this country Portuguese dentistry has played a major role in the growth of the FDI and development of dentistry around the world. Today, Portugal exports knowledge and expertise in the field, and its influence extends well beyond its borders due to the professional strong commitment to the development of oral health in Portugal, Europe, and worldwide. I don't have the time to go over everything that uh, you've done to uh, contribute, but I will only ask you to think of the high number of Portuguese dentists holding prominent positions in the FDI, past president, Dr. Orlando Monteiro da Silva, and our newly elected council member, Dr. Paulo Rivera de Mello, and many others, and of their role in the advancement of dentistry in many underprivileged areas, particularly Portuguese-speaking countries. And among these good examples, let me point out the role that you all play in your own country I've followed attentively the work of your professional association. It's an efficient organization, taking no hasty decisions and always concerned with finding solutions, honest in the way it serves its causes and respects its counterparts, and well aware that the design of health policies involves continuous negotiation. All this is done under conditions which, though not dramatic, may be considered difficult I'm not going to make a list of these difficulties, as you are aware of well of them. And we have a lot of difficulties in my own country, in the United States. But the fact is that Portugal's potential for growth in such a way that it's going to have a direct impact on your population's oral health. 
The issues of universal access to dental care, which is closely connected with adequate prevention practices, is actually the most serious problem that I see. I'm going to use my time, however, to underline a very positive aspect. Forty years after the welfare state created a public health system that left dentistry out of the scope, the Portuguese state has finally begun to integrate oral health into your national health systems. Congratulations are therefore in order. We used to congratulate the we need to congratulate the administration as well as to acknowledge the major role played by the Portuguese Dental Association for decades. But this is only the beginning. It's a new beginning, opening the do door to debate over some new and relevant issues. The fact that public dental services do not yet cover all the needs felt by the population, particularly the underprivileged and excluded. This sensitive issue with, coexists also within the private sector, which has made remarkable efforts, too, to have efficient, qualified networks covering entire territories. And it's currently trying to find ways of not be letting those that are forgotten being left behind. In a somewhat deregulated market, resulting from the lack of a strategic training policy coordinated among the different bodies governing dif uh, the dentistry, the difficulties and da daily threats arising from demographic and financial pressures on national health systems. In all these respects, we agree that the principles by WHO, which I quote due to their great relevance, universal health care does not mean free coverage for all possible health interventions regardless of the cost as no country can provide free services for all situations. Universal health care is not just about health financing. It encompasses all components of the health systems, the health service delivery systems, the health workforce, health facilities and communication networks, health technologies, information systems, quality assurance mechanisms, and government and legislation. Universal health care is not only about ensuring a minimum package of health services, but also ensuring a progressive expansion of coverage of health services and financial protection as more resources become available. Universal health coverage is not only about individual treatment services, but also includes population-based services, such as public health campaigns like FDI's World Oral Health Day. Universal health coverage is comprised of much more than just health. Taking steps means e er, equity, development, and prior or development your own priorities, and social inclusion and cohesion. And in short, sustainability is an enormous challenge, but I'm very hopeful. Allow me to deliberately stand up for my uh, peers. I know, Mr. Minister, that the Portuguese Dental Association and all dentists will continue to be active and committed partners in the development and implementations of this project, and that they'll always be loyal to their population and to the public servant of the current and future administrations, and surely committed to best oral health care for all. But let me point out that we have similar processes taking place in other countries, and we're certain that the stability of health professionals within the public health system is absolutely essential. It's essential for them to be close in touch with the patients in their communities, as well as with development agents, their peers, other medical fields, and the central government itself. A dental career within a national health system materializes on a daily basis, one of the guarantees for the sustainability of public health systems. FDI is a global organization, but what you're doing here locally is really the most important. You're serving the public here. And it's very heartening to see everyone coming up here on stage and uh, celebrating what you've done for oral health. I attended uh, one of your health uh, clinics yesterday and was just amazed at what you were doing and, and how you're actually or integrating oral health into all systems. It was really great to see Monte Pedral and, and see how uh, you're affecting the lives of your populations. So let me say once again that the Portuguese dentistry certainly has reached a high level of excellence. And excellence, of course, uh, we're, that you're going to continue and serve your public health systems. So thank you very much. Obrigado.